J. V. Stalin. F. Zerzinski. In memory of F. Zerzinski. Source, Works, Volume 8, January to November, 1926, pages 203 to 204 Publisher, Foreign Languages Publishing House, Moscow, 1954 First published, Pravda, No. 166, July 22, 1926. First Fronts, Now Zerzinski. The old Leninist Guard has lost another of its finest leaders and fighters. The party has sustained another irreparable loss. Standing now at Comrade Zerzinski's beer and looking back at his whole life's path, prison, penal servitude and exile, the extraordinary commission for combating counter-revolution, the restoration of the ruined transport system, the building of our young socialist industry, one feels that the characteristic of his seething life was a fiery ardor. The October Revolution allotted him in an exacting post, that of head of the Extraordinary Commission for Combating Counter-Revolution. No name was more hated by the bourgeoisie than that of Dzerzhinsky, who repelled the blows of the enemies of the proletarian revolution with a hand of steel. The terror of the bourgeoisie was the name given in those days to Comrade Felix Dzerzhinsky. When the period of peace began, Comrade Dzerzhinsky continued his seething activities. He applied his burning energy to putting in order the dislocated transport system, and then, as chairman of the Supreme Council of National Economy, he worked with equal ardor to build up our industry. Never resting, never shunning the roughest work, gallantly contending with difficulties and overcoming them, and dedicating all his strength and energy to the task entrusted to him by the party, he burnt out his life, working in the interests of the proletariat, and for the victory of communism. Farewell, hero of October. Farewell, loyal son of the party. Farewell, builder of the unity and might of our party. J. V. Stalin. July 22, 1926.